Hello, this is Dr. Andrew Doan, and today I'm going to demonstrate through video the effectiveness of different modalities of grounding. And today I chose this outdoor spot because it's actually next to some power lines which can be um, a source of electromagnetic field that can induce an alternating current body voltage on my body. And I've already explained in a different video how that can affect your health and why earthing and grounding is essential for maintaining good health. So using this EMF sensor, I'm able to detect about 0.04 microteslas worth of electromagnetic field at this point, which is not very high, but let's see what happens to our body voltage with this low level of EMF. This is my setup. I use the Enologic EM860T True RMS Multimeter and the settings are on alternating current at basically alternating voltage here and you can see also that my multimeter can actually measure out to 0 0.001 which is out to the 1 millivolt sensitivity. So for those who are wondering how to measure body voltage and the EMF induced alternating currents that are being induced in the body uh, you have to have a, a multimeter that actually can measure out to 0 0.001 voltage or to the 1 millivolt. And this is how you set it up. So the black lead is the negative lead that goes to basically a separate ground. I use a basically a barbecue steak and alligator clips and I clip the black lead to the alligator clip so it's now properly grounded to the ground. And then basically with my other fingers I pinch here my thumb and index finger so now my body also I'm also standing on an insulated uh, surfboard or a boogie board so that I'm insulated from the ground so I get a true uh, body voltage measurement and you can also see now that the EMF field that's measured here is about the maximum has been up to 0 0.14 micro tesla so the field will fluctuate based on how much electricity is running through the power lines and you can see that with this level of field in this location, my body is measuring about 0 0.875 volts AC. So about 870 millivolts on average. And uh, if you look at the currents, we can switch to multimeter here to basically currents and switching it to alternating and it's very low current, okay? so. Um, it's below the detectable levels of current and that's important because there's some people that claim that basically the body if grounded will act as a um, an antenna pulling electrical energy through the body to the ground therefore earthing and grounding is dangerous but I'm going to demonstrate here that that's not the case so here's my body voltage while I'm ungrounded now I'm going to step off my board and basically show you that when I do that I'm just going to touch the ground here and my body voltage goes down to uh, 0 0.004 which is 4 millivolts. Now keep in mind that if my body was truly an antenna based on Ohm's law which is voltage equals current times the resistance, the resistance hasn't changed because it's just my, my, the resistance of my skin here, my finger, the only thing that's touching the ground is a socked foot. So even with a sock, a cotton sock, you can see that I'm conducting, conducting onto the grass and onto the earth and I'm grounded. So basically if you switch now to the amperage, you can see that the amps are still continue to be zero. So therefore I am not drawing electricity through my body by being grounded underneath the power lines. It's actually prote protective because both voltage and amps have gone down to basically zero. Amps has always been undetectable because it's not that much voltage through here, but it's enough to cause chronic inflammation in the body. Okay, my first grounding setup is basically using uh, the original earthing sheets with silver thread. It's actually connected to a original earthing cable, and you know it's original because it has that lettering on that BIO bio and that has the the 100,000 ohm resistor which I highly recommend because it actually prevents from accidental electrocution 
and um, in case there was a shortage of the outlet. So this cable here is connected to a properly grounded outlet on the side of the building, which I tested with a, um, an outlet grounded checker. And, um, and my, so my body volts here measure around 812 millivolts uh, alternating current. And when I put my hands on the sheet, uh, you can see that the sheets now decrease my body voltage down to um, basically 100, uh, under 140 millivolts alternating current. And that is enough for clinical and health benefits. And so uh, keep in mind that basically the sheets, they do wear out over time. So earthing, uh, you can't get these sheets anymore from earthing and they've replaced it with the sleep pad and also the mat and um, other devices. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a thin cotton sheet over the earthing sheet below. And you can see my body voltage ungrounded is around over 800 millivolts. Then I put my hands on the cotton sheet and you can see it drop down to about 312 millivolts. But now notice though, as I keep my hand here and talk to you, the voltage continues to drop because there is now heat that's being generated by my body and the heat is also causing perspiration. The perspiration and the combination of the body heat, just natural body heat, causes now um, basically a humid environment between my skin and the cotton sheet and the earthing sheet below. So if I sit here long enough, my voltage will continue to drop because my body is eventually grounding more efficiently as the humidity um, increases between my skin and the grounding sheet. So you actually can ground on the um, uh, on cotton cotton sheets over a grounding mat. So you can see here my body voltage drop and it continued to drop from 315 millivolts to now 367 and 65 and we can sit here for a long time and you'll see that basically it will continue to decrease over time because of the humidity uh, between my skin the cotton sheets and the the earthing sheet below okay my next test is basically cotton sheet over earthing sheet and then basically barefoot and see what that does. So I have a barefoot here right onto the cotton sheet and you can see that basically it decreased down to about 166 millivolts alternating current. And like I said before, because of the perspiration and the body heat over time, the body voltage will continue to drop because there's actually conductance through that cotton sheet above the earthing sheet. Okay, so my next test here is basically EKG electrode to basically grounded uh, cable to the outlet. And I'm just gonna stick the AKG, EKG patch right onto the back of my hand. You can see I'm over 800 millivolts here. But once I stick the patch to the back of my hand, you can see I drop down to about 150 millivolts alternating current. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this now to the bottom of my foot at the K1 kidney acupuncture site, which is basically the ball of the foot, and, um, and we'll see what happens. And it drops down to about 156 or so. And as you can see right there is the ball of my foot, and, um, and basically, either grounding a patch to my hand or the ball of the foot, it's about the same. Okay, in this setup, I'm comparing my body voltage reduction with a patch kit using a 3M EKG electrode connected to a, an earthing cable that's actually to the ground over here. So it's in a stake. There's a stake in the ground with the earthing cable attached to the stake and then to the EKG probe. So you can see ungrounded here, I run a little over 800 millivolts alternating current. I stick the patch right here to the back of my hand and 
Wow, so the electrical system that I was connected to didn't ground me very efficiently, but this one dropped my body voltage down to about 18 millivolts. Okay, so then this setup, I'm measuring my body voltage AC at about um, 849, 180, or 850 millivolts AC, um, uh, alternating current that's induced on my body by the local power lines. And now I'm going to stick this EKG electrode to the bottom of my foot, at the ball of the foot, and see what that does. And that lowers my body voltage down to about 13 to 14 millivolts. And you can see that basically the ball of my foot is right there. In this setup, I have the original earthing sheet here connected to a stake in the ground with the original earthing cable. And my body voltage ungrounded measures basically 826 or so millivolts alternating current. But when I put my hands on the grounding sheet directly, you can see that my body voltage now drops down to 10 millivolts. A very effective drop when I have direct contact with the sheets. And then compared to the cotton sheet above the earthing sheet, you can see that basically my body voltage drops from around 800 millivolts to around 222 millivolts and dropping. And as I said before, because of the perspiration and the body heat and also with the conductive um, electrolytes in the sweat over time as my body heat basically heats up the space between the, the, my hand and the cotton sheet, you can see that the body voltage will drop steadily. So if you're sleeping on cotton sheets over a grounded mat or a grounded uh, earthing pad or sheets, uh, you can see that basically you can get the comfort of the sheets that you like. As long as it's a, it's a regular thin cotton sheet, it'll be fine. And as I'm talking to you right now, you can see that now my body voltage has dropped down below 200 millivolts. So it continues to drop. So uh, the rec contact is best. You can see that here, it drops right down to 10 millivolts from above 800 millivolts alternating current. But through cotton sheets, you'll still conduct and you'll still get some, some grounding as well. So in this next setup, I've moved closer now to the power lines and you can see that the maximum EMF field now is 0.77 microteslas. And so my body voltage now has jumped up to basically over 3.4 volts alternating current. And so what I wanted to show was how effective touching concrete is with just bare feet. So that's touching concrete. It goes down to basically um, less than 20 millivolts alternating current. So very effective. So I go back on my, my boogie board here, which is insulated. I'm going to touch the grass now. And as I touch the grass barefoot, it goes down to 4 millivolts. Now, those who don't like to get parasites or are afraid of, you know, stuff on the grass and contaminants and fertilizer and so forth, they can actually use a beach towel or a thin cotton sheet, like a picnic sheet or something. And so I'm going to show what happens when we do that. So actually, on the, the cotton towel here, you can see that my body voltage actually went from... 3.5 volts on a very thick cotton towel down to basically below one voltage. But now you notice that it keeps on decreasing because as I, I described earlier, that basically because of the body heat and perspiration, it will continue to decrease as I stand here. And so I can stand here for a little bit longer and showing that there's a steady decrease. Now it's down to basically below 530. If we keep on talking, it'll go down below 500, 400. Um, actually, you know what? I'll sit here for a while. And so here I am literally just 15 seconds later. Now it's dropped down to basically 91 millivolts. Keeps on. Okay, we're almost a minute later now. You can see that I'm down, down, down from over three voltage or 3000 millivolts alternating current and standing on this peach, beach towel because of the body heat, the perspiration, I am conducting through cotton. And now, just sitting here, just waiting, I'm almost down to 29 millivolts 
just sitting here. So over time, you can actually ground on a cotton sheet like this because of the body heat and the perspiration. So if you're using a grounding mat or a, a grounding pad underneath your cotton fitted sheet, which is actually thinner than this beach towel, you'll still get effective grounding. And here I am talking to you and basically we're almost at two minutes sitting, you know, standing here on this towel. It's now dropping further and steadily.